life. What's up everyone, I'm OBG for tastingskills.com. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm talking about Woodenville Distillery. Now this distillery was established in 2010 in of course, Woodenville. It's located about 25 minutes northeast of Seattle in the state of Washington. But let's talk about a little bit about Woodenville. They were established in 2010. They make straight bourbon whiskey. They also make a rye. And today I have two different whiskeys. I have the Woodenville straight bourbon whiskey finished in port cask. And I also have the straight bourbon whiskey private selection single barrel bourbon by Corey's Fine Wine. So let's jump into the technicals and then we could look at the tasting notes and we're gonna start with the straight bourbon whiskey finished in port cast this has an abv of 45 percent or 90 proof and this retails on average for 40 dollars then we have corey's private select single barrel this has an abv of 59.68 or 119.36 proof this was handpicked by my local store which is Coors Fine Wine and Spirits, but I'm sure that if you go around the country, you will be able to find barrel picks just like at Corey's. And this also retails between 40 to 50, depending in what market you're in. Now, with the technicals out of the way, let's talk a little bit about the packaging. The packaging is really solid on here as we get the wooden veil on the side for the bottle on both sides. On the other side, we get made in Washington classic wooden cork with oh this is a nice cork um good description really clean on the back a little bit of the history special release now like i said they only make four different types of whiskeys plus they make single barrel picks okay so let's jump into the tasting notes but before that do you want to taste like a pro head over to tastingskills.com put your name and email into the magical yellow box and i will send you my free 17 page guide to the fundamentals of tasting but only that if you'd like to get a sober hat or a sexy sober t-shirt once you have that in your cart please put the promo code i'm obg and shipping will be free since it's on me all right now let's get into this woodenville straight bourbon finished in port cast on the color deep reddish to amber on the nose clean crisp port aromas that fall into layers of smoke that are constructed around wood tannins then you get the blackberries the currant the cherries the caramel the vanilla and oranges this has high alcohol intensity on the mouthfeel this is spicy lots of wood tannin that drives the spiciness of this bourbon as the length is all wood tannins the acidity just keeps on giving you layers of the barrel as you eventually get some sweet notes from the port cast but this is wood tannin driven and it has a long finish this was good i love the port cast finish this is a great idea and i recommend it to a lot of other distilleries out there even madeira finish i think that that's a big layer that's missing to american whiskey this was intense when it came to the wood tannins now am i in love with this yes this was really good am i freaking out over it no but this was solid if you're into a lot of wood tannins let's move on to the Corey's fine wine barrel pick on the color deep amber with light reddish hints on the nose high alcohol 120 caramel oranges honey american oat smoke and some cherry notes on this but mostly closed due to the high alcohol on the mouthfeel high intensity of spicy wood tannins that deliver layers of the oak this is once again all wood tannins as the acidity delivers some sweet tannins of the oak between the caramel the toffee and this is just really really intense when it comes to the barrel this needs water in it the intensity is no joke so many layers of the wood tannins on here they're really working them out you need to put a few drops of water in there just to open it up and really get the feel for this whiskey since it is packly tight so 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 tight and especially when it comes to the layers upon layers of the wood tannins like i said previously this is their style all right let's do a quick recap to see if you should buy pass or collect and we're going to start with the woodenville straight bourbon whiskey finished in port cast this was a buy i wouldn't run out and just collect it since there is going to be plenty available out there this was a really solid whiskey and on top of it like i previously said i love the fact that they're doing a 
podcast finish. The industry needs a lot more of that when it comes to American whiskey. And then finally, Corey's Fine Wine, Private Select. This was also a buy. This was really good, but it had a lot of kick. I mean, you're at 120 proof, 60 ABV, lots of wood tannins. Like I previously said in my notes, this needs water. This is a buy, really, really good. All right, that's gonna do it for me. I'm OBG for tastingskills.com. Please remember to smash that like button, go down there and click the subscribe button. Otherwise, my friend, please remember, stay sober. Peace.